This is doing. Yeah, why can't I get to my. Okay, now I can get to my dashboard. Okay, they made this awkward. <laughs> Okay, the chat updated and <coughs> uh, how do I get to my dashboard on there? <coughs> This is Femmer Gaina, and here, I'm here with some um, Dutch practice. Um, I'm going to do some Duolingo Dutch <coughs> and some Close Master Dutch and see what else. Um, there is Dutch on language drops and, uh, and some Anki. <laughs> <coughs> All right. <clears throat> All righty, ready, ready. What the? How many more? Oh. These skills lose their, lose their strength really fast. And, and you know what? I tried the strengthening on this for the Spanish, and some of my Spanish skills say um, I'm out of XP for that skill, so I can't strengthen it anymore, which is a real shame. <clears throat> so I guess the next one is this one. This is practice. Because for some reason in the Spanish one it'll say practice plus zero percent zero XP. And I'm like, okay. So is that arts too? Anyways, I installed this app to show me the strength bars. And I want to strengthen everything by the weakest. Okay, so arts too is what we're doing. <coughs> uh, yeah, I want to do that. And and let's do this. Let's do some time practice and watch me fail the time to practice. And hopefully my audio is okay. I'm just gonna check that quickly. And okay, okay. let's. Mike is working at least. 
Welke zangeres kan de hoogste noot zingen? Oh man, you know I don't want to do listening. <laughs> I don't want to do listening on Duolingo. Um, uh, the dance. Fotografie interesseert haar niet meer. Foot. Foot. Ah. Photography doesn't interest her anymore. And what is going on? There we go. Next. Next. De meeste literatuur maakt mij verdrietig. Uh, most literature. I can't even spell today in English. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Sergio. Hi, Fu Hi, Helios. Hi, Mike. How's it going? <coughs> Weet u welke noten u wilt horen? Okay, I'm on timed practice. Wait, can you see my timing timer? Yeah, either. <laughs> Do you know which <coughs> notes you will? Oh, good lord! Screw that. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm probably gonna screw up your name, new person. Vegeta Andres. I think Andre. Andres. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm I, I'm sure I totally screwed up your your name, new person. And hello, new person that I've never met before. <laughs> well. Yeah, the time practice is ridiculous when the sentences get really long. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure it's based off of Andre. Andrew. Ah, Andrew. I don't speak English anymore. Andre. <laughs> I'm just not sure which way that G is supposed to go. Um, are you Polish? <laughs> so how how is how is the stream Helios? <clears throat> yeah, the time practice is stupid with the long sentences. Oh look, it it did increase the strength up a little bit. All your stuff is broken there, Faye. No, it's not broken. It's the it's the it's the dark mode. Watch. Don't ask me why. The dark mode just ruins, uh, puts these stupid little things. No, 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 that's not the broken skill. Um, I only have three broken skills. <laughs> I don't know why the dark mode does that on here. It, 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 I think it's detecting something weird in the, in the color scheme. And these are the only three broken ones. So... I don't know why it does that. It does something really weird. <coughs> I think Neen said it looks like it needs like lotion or something. <laughs> so how is everyone this morning? You guys can watch me suffer through like time practice. I swear. I hate when they give me long sentences. Like, and I noticed that in Spanish they have like longer sentences in the Spanish and French course. And I'm like, there's no way people are gonna do time practice. And be able to get that, get through that. Even if I know the right, I, but then again, I don't know what I got wrong last time. He heeft een fantastische verbeelding. He has a fantastic, uh, what? Verbeelding. Imagination. Oh, jeez, forgot that. Um, ik heb mijn. Oh no, I forgot what doubts is. Twijfels. Twijfels. Jij moet jouw verbeelding gebruiken. You have to use your imagination. Oké. Okay. This is what's going on. Um, zonder I wonder if they use the plural or singular. Oké. Okay. Hoe kan ik mijn geheugen verbeteren? How can I improve my... Memory, brain, brain, Geheugen. memory. The uh, ze heeft wat twijfels. Ze heeft wat twijfels. Uh, she has some doubts. Uh, 
that is oh how do you say trait i can shop i can i can stop von yeah uh yeah Perso persoonlijkheid damn you that dat is een eigenschap van jouw persoonlijkheid uh, that Oh, a trait of your personality. Ik heb een goed geweten. I have... What? Geweten. Oh, I totally forgot these words. Some of these words. Ze heeft een sterke voorkeur voor Chinese that. eten. She, I misspelled conscious. Conscience. She has a strong... Pre uh, preference for Chinese food. De blauwe vis heeft een slecht geheugen, maar een groot hart. Blue fish has a bad memory, <laughs> but a big heart. Ik heb geen voorkeur, dus uh -huh. jullie mogen kiezen. I don't have a preference. Uh, so you should... Shoes. Het geheugen van Arr! mijn oma wordt langzaam slechter. Uh, I, I'm just gonna go straight with the literal. Of my grandma is getting slower. No, Ik kan niet slowly getting bad. Worse. Slowly getting worse. <laughs> I can't complain about her behavior. I ran out of time. <laughs> At 12. Uh, the night fought against metaphorical windmills. Mike, are you getting that in your Spanish? Would you be comfortable with starting Afrikaans or Flemish by now? I have started Afrikaans actually in monthly languages from Dutch. Flemish, uh, Flemish is just Dutch. <laughs> are, are you, are, do you speak, uh, spreek je Netherlands color? Cholera, kibbutz. <laughs> hey, Rachel. That was in the Norwegian course? Really? <laughs> now, th th these are the skills I have to strengthen. These are the cracked ones. Um, uh... I have started Afrikaans, but uh, lurking Helios, all right. Uh, <laughs> some more. I gotta do some more. I have 37 skills that need strengthening. They're all down here. They're all the tough ones that I don't remember everything for. <clears throat> What's the next one they're giving me? Uh, opinions. I don't know if I want to do more time practice. <clears throat> I can't type today for some reason. My fingers are not working, everyone. I'm just, yeah, it sucks. Dit zijn alle feiten. These are all the facts. Uh, over uh, welke wijn zou. Zou u. Oh, jeez. Zou u. Onraden. Het is een feit dat jij in Nederland woont. It's a fact. Yes, it is a fact. <laughs> yes, it is a fact. I live in the Netherlands. Right. <laughs> Thank you. The Spanish man had nothing to do with the matter. <clears throat> and I can't talk today. Head. Uh, meets met de zakken, zak liggen maken. Spijt, het uh, niets te maken met de vetsie. Uh, we moeten elkaar accepteren zoals we zijn. We have to accept each other as we are. Har oh man. Ordale was unreasonable on, I, I can't remember. On the radio, like. 
Okay, I'm not learning this yeah, with the timer. Yeah, like. uh, you're not correct. No! No, 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 no. That's correct. And that's the problem with the time practice, too. I can't report that. That, that should have been correct. <clears throat> uh, saturated? Oh, no, it's this thing. It's, yeah, I don't know if it's showing. It's Duolingo Dark Mode. You're not correct, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, no more time practice because they're not accepting some of my answers for some reason. That was totally right. Um, no, it's not. Um, it's just Duolingo um, Dark Mode extension on Chrome. You can add it. It's not a plus thing. I have plus. Yeah. I think they're trying. They say they're going to try and make a dark mode for Duolingo now for the website. But I, I don't think it's out yet. <clears throat> time practice is ridiculous even with Spanish you get these long sentences in the Spanish one and then it's like you run out of time so I think they're not giving you enough time for the longer sentences because <clears throat> I think they're adding in longer sentences in Duolingo basically and they haven't increased the time on the time practice it should be starting at 30 seconds I think I think it starts at 20 seconds just stupid <clears throat> Yeah, I know, Mike. People are definitely complaining about that. <laughs> but I really don't know why this app ruins, like, makes it look like... It, I don't... The skills aren't broken. They're just, um... There must be something the app is detecting that isn't, like, that's completely white, and it's turning it black. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Or at least, like, or at least if the next question is longer, give you an extra five seconds or something. <clears throat> Use what for, for Duolingo Dark Mode? I just don't want to put everything dark. Like, I don't want every site to go dark on me, so. Okay, screw the time practice for now. I'm not learning anything. Well, first of all, I can't report anything if I botched the last one, which is really annoying, so. Deze bar heeft niets lekkers te drinken. This bar has nothing <coughs> good to drink. I'm too lazy for that, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Does it put everything in dark mode first and then I have to undark everything? Because that's I'm too lazy for that. Because <laughs> then I'm going to have a huge list of like everything being like, no, I don't want this. I'll check it out later then. This is all right. I also, I also don't want it to like, I also didn't want it to make like the, the gold bar, like some of the... Dark mode apps make the gold bar black. Erlichheit is the Langreich. <coughs> oh, you know what my favorite Dutch sentence is? That's my favorite one. <laughs> Mate, your meaning is not belangrijk. <laughs> you like it? Because you can also change the color of other parts of the website, hence part of mine is purple. <laughs> you made part of yours purple. What was it called again? Stylus. I don't know. I don't think I saw it on here. On, um, oops, store. This one? 
Wow, it's got 717. Why do, it doesn't come up as like... Oh, it's a whole theme thing, that's why. This one? Okay. <clears throat> I'll try it later because Mike's not the only one that can be lazy. <laughs> Deze taal is niet zo nutteloos als je denkt. If there's too many if there's too many options for me to check and uncheck, I'm gonna be like I'll be here all night. Saluton fe, saluton Esperanto Hola Baka Como estas? Cactela. Deze taal is niet zo nutteloos als je denkt. This language isn't as crazy. Ah, I say crazy. Nutteloos. Oh, sorry, it's useless. I mean, is learning a fourth language lazy? No, not really. But you're lazy to do other things. You're too lazy to do other things. What is het wachtwoord van het draadloze netwerk? <laughs> I know, Mike. You're saving it up for August. So, estoy bien, estuve. <clears throat> yes, I saw you were playing. Oh, aren't you playing right now? I thought I saw you playing. What is het wachtwoord van het draadloze netwerk? What's the Password for the wireless network. That I do know. A draadloos toetsenbord works not without batteries. My audio is really loud. Hold on a second. Why is he always louder? Uh, output. My output. Let me turn this one down. Yeah, hold on a second. <coughs> uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, YouTube will come here pronto. Estoy bien, Baca. Uh, que va a comer? Uh, carne. Oh, carne. Cotletti? Que is Cotletti? What is that again? Cotletti, plural. Cutlets! Oh, cutlets! Um. Okay, don't make me hungry. <laughs> A wireless <coughs> keyboard doesn't, doesn't work without batteries it's no I got it it's a cutlet I know what they are I mean here let's look at the picture because I'm pretty sure I, I know what they look like uh no 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 these right yeah I'm getting hungry now Queso, <laughs> queso, Netherlands, uh, Dutch. Er is niets leuks te lezen in de wachtkamer van de dokter. There's nothing um, uh, looks, uh, there's nothing good to read in the doctor's waiting room. Er is een draadloze verbinding tussen mijn laptop There's en jouw telefoon. A wireless connection between my laptop and your telephone. Claro. Okay. 
Helaas waren mijn verwachtingen een beetje te hoog. Unfortunately, my uh, expectations were a bit too high. Yeah. Does that happen? I don't know. I don't have any expectations anymore, people. It's gone. Gone. Boop, boop. Away. Anybody want to do language guesser later? <laughs> language guesser in the Discord? We can try to do some more. But I, I don't know if I recognize any other languages right now. Hoe kunnen we zeker zijn van zijn eerlijkheid? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's moving nice, it depends on the time. Uh, hoe kunnen we zeker zijn van zijn eerlijkheid? How can we be certain of ah, his honesty? De coach van de ploeg heeft onmogelijke verwachtingen. Coach, coach. Coach has impossible. Well, what movie is it this time? Has impossible expectations. <clears throat> I have a backlog of movies right now. Nate, we have a backlog of movies, don't we? I was saying, Nate, we have a backlog of movies, right? Yeah, probably yes. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had headphones on. <coughs> Chef, what kind of movie is it? Pienso que después de Conce, a mirar los streamers sobre anglais, yo comienzo a componer de poco. I think that after beginning to watch streamers, I begin to understand a little English. That is good. Wait, that's good, Baka. I mean, are you, are you learning more? Um, Hou op met werken en doe iets leuks. Apprendes mas ingles. <laughs> are you learning more than before? Hou op met werken en doe iets leuks. Uh, uh, stop working and do something fun. Uh, it's about a chef and it's directed by... Oh, John Favreau. No, oh, but what kind of movie? Is it like a comedy or... De oefening was volstrekt nutteloos. Yeah, I know who John, uh, John Favreau is. He does some good movies. The... Uh, exercise was completely useless. Oefening, nutteloos. Hmm. Ah. Oké, okay. next. De sprakeloze toeschouwers kijken uh. naar het podium. Spraakloze. Speechless. Oh, I don't know this word. Toeschouwers. Toeschouwers? Toeschouwers. Why does that mean spectators again? I don't remember. Yeah, he's in another world today. No aprendo inglés ahora porque yo aprendo esperanza. Okay. Okay, Baka. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't know if I like Two Esperanto, hours. Esperanto, or however they want to pronounce it. The speechless spectators look at the 
I want to say podium, but it's not podium. It's probably stage. Podium. <laughs> it is niet nodig om bang te zijn voor verandering. It isn't necessary to be what afraid of. It is niet nodig om bang te zijn. For, for, of change, it's, it's not necessary to be afraid of change. What? <laughs> Serias, mi amigo. Are you learning? Oh, you're learning the conditional, Mike. Yeah. Ah, oh, Mike. Mike, you're asking everyone to if if we would be your friend. Had je iemand anders verwacht? I thought we were your friends already. <laughs> um. Oh, for fucked. Were you expecting someone else? What? Done. Had you expected someone else feels so weird to me. It's perfectly correct grammar. I. I <clears throat> yeah, it, it could be where you're expecting someone else. But it's. That's the only comment I'm going to put there. Yeah, people were like, were you expecting someone else? Were you expecting someone else? And I thought it was waiting. That was my bad. Uh, Ik heb vandaag geen hoge verwachtingen. Was jonge foy? Or Esso Asta Lego. Alright, Asta Lego, Baka. Baka. I have. I don't have. I don't have high expectations. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> okay, that's me today. I don't have high expectations today. All right, Rachel, you're lucky. Wees de verandering die je in de wereld uh, wil zien. Uh, be the change that you want to see in the world. Onze winkel heeft voor iedereen iets leuks te koop. Has Something nice for everyone to buy. We zullen iets heel lekkers maken mm. voor onze gasten. Make something. Um, we'll make something very tasty for our guests. You know, I've never used the word tasty this much before. Cause we just got used to saying like good for for like describing food. Iedereen kreeg iets lekkers tijdens de vlucht. Everyone received something. Uh, yeah, it's always something tasty, right? Lekkers. I'm gonna say something, lekkers. something nice during the flight. Had je iemand anders verwacht? Uh, uh, 
yeah, everyone's saying is, were you expecting someone else isn't being accepted? Hmm? I know it's supposed to be, I know the Dutch is the perfect present, uh, sorry, past perfect. But you don't necessarily have to translate past perfect to past perfect in English. It doesn't make sense. So I... That's why I, I basically agree with them that it should be um, in English. This would. This is basically. I don't know. I feel like this is a. Because the Dutch don't have this construction in their language. The Dutch don't have this kind of construction in this language. And this is definitely this is definitely a pass pass expression. Were you expecting someone else? So like you know it actually should I think that actually should be accepted, but had you expected someone else, yeah had you iemand anders verwacht? Oh jeez. Had you iemand anders verwacht? What am I? Jesus. Did I type where was I? Ex did I? Maybe I did. Had you iemand anders verwacht? <laughs> did I type Tonglish? Oh dear, that could be bad. Nope. It was wrong. Were you expecting someone else? <laughs> Were you expecting someone else? I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'm reporting it. Um, July. I don't feel like explaining my reasoning behind that, but that should be, that actually is correct because this is a pat. Were you expecting something else when something else happened? This is, this is one of the tenses we would use to refer to a more remote past when something else is happening in the past. So that gets translated into other languages like French and Dutch is a past perfect. So they should be accepting it, but. Had you iemand anders verwacht? But they want the, had you expected someone else? That's the one they want. A happy Friday. Thank you, Seraphine. Did you just, oh, you just cheered a bit. <laughs> How's it going, Seraphine? Uh, how long have I been doing this? Okay, I'm going to do this for about an hour and then, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I'm fine. How are you? I am, I'm good. I'm good. Mit mach hat het goed. Hat het goed. I'm a little tired and sleepy, but that's not any different than normal. So, um, what's the next one? University. Seriously, th wait, does it still say 37 skills that need to? Oh, because some of them are at 50%, going up to 75%, and it's looping around. <laughs> yeah, that's the same for me as well. <laughs> that is... Uh, uh, that's what I'm going with. I'm melding. No, up the Katsi is there! <laughs> Main document is a verslag met meer pagina's. Is a report with more pages. <laughs> I know unmelding, they use that on the internet a lot. Like like when you subscribe to a website, they call it an unmelding. So I wouldn't, I would call it a, where's my, yeah. I guess they call it, we don't call it anything in English. It would be like, 
a, it's a subscription. <laughs> the student had gone to the lecture. The student was not lazing on my begrijp er niets van. Uh. Oh no, Mike! No, I'm kidding. That which one? What did you clip? What did you clip? What did you clip? Yeah, I know. Applicatie is perfect. I mean, isn't that what they use for like a job interview? Oh, I did have to. I did type the. Dunglish. Someone else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Dunglish is real. I'm gonna rename that to Dunglish is real because Dunglish is real. It it, it exists even here, Mike. Someone else. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Dunglish is real. <laughs> Look at all this tasty food. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my dual and go without, like, accidentally clicking out of it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, oh, the food? Nom nom. <laughs> Okay, I haven't eaten yet. Deze studenten gaan volgende week afstuderen. No, I'm hungry. Don't get me hungry. Um, like these students. Next week, they go next week. What's afstuderen? What is af? Uh, studeren is to study. What's afstuderen? Oh yeah, graduate. Like, I mean, considering I didn't grow up here and I didn't go to school here, there's no way I would really be using Afstuderen very much in Dutch. Not that well. Water, water, water. <laughs> the clip also includes some of the other mistakes, like expecting, expecting. Yeah, that was funny. I don't know why I take that. I have no expectations today. What did they say? I have van geen verwachtingen. 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 I have van geen geen verwachtingen. They have the applications now. Oh. Have all the applications now. De student is haar scriptie aan het schrijven. Is uh, writing is this essay? I'm not gonna have a kid, Mike. Scripsy. <laughs> Thesis. Yeah. Well, I guess I mean I could be talking to students, anyways, but. Um, Afstuderen. That'll be you in four more years. Was it four more years, Mike? Yeah, I'm gonna... What? Okay, now they're... Wow. No, it's not programmas. <laughs> uh... Lechen? Sitten? No, not lachen. Lachen? That's lying. In Deze Lava Dors. They want Zitta. But I am thinking of an actual piece of paper that's an application that has an application on it. Like a job application on a piece of paper sitting in a blue box.
You think I should report the seraphine? Because I am thinking really literally here. <laughs> yeah. Seraphine, man, you should you should be one of the mo you should be one of the moderators on this Dutch course. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you in there and then you can fix everything. <laughs> Hoeveel pagina's heeft dit verslag? <laughs> I don't know, I probably lo I probably have told you that before, haven't I? <laughs> yes, you should fix the Norwegian cards. <laughs> found well I don't know it depends how far I got into the Norwegian course we'll see how many this report have uh peb peb yeah oh I forget how to say linguistics uh t talkunda Talkunda, like, okay, math is viskunda, and linguistics is talkunda. Uh, oh my god, it's not past, it's present. I'm not even reading English properly today, what's wrong with me? Do you want to have my sig is that signature it's signature i'm taking no it's notes it's notes it's notes oh my god what's on no signature something else is it signature just uh no what signature hunting thank you Maria's <laughs> Would you like to eat turtle meat? I don't think I want to eat turtle meat. Mine half is this isn't this just half Zeus? That you no. Okay, finally. <laughs> And I missed the ass. <laughs> My dream is to be good. I'm just, I'm just tired today. I think I, I think, um, I think I just, I played Don't Starve Together last night, so I think my brain is not wired for languages right now. Hoeveel aantekeningen heb jij gemaakt? How many? Notes did you make? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing very well right now, Serpent. <laughs> I have to get this perfect. Okay, she has studied linguistics. See, heft talkunda has to now. Okay, another 10 minutes of this and maybe I'll just, I think I'll do something out. Um, actually, I don't know. Tijdens jouw opleiding leer je belangrijke vaardigheden. During your, oh, upbringing. <laughs> We'd never say things that way in English, though. This is literally during your upbringing, during your education, you learn important skills. It's like upbringing. Upbringing. Right? Schooling, education. Okay, I'll say during your schooling. But it's much more than schooling, is what it, people were telling me. <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> Continue. I once 
ik wil een goede opleiding voor mijn kinderen. Yay! By the way, you wrote. Oh, of course I did. I Dutch. I I I dunglished. I dunglish. Is deze <laughs> opleiding Engels dan nog? Ik spreek Dunglish. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Is this? <laughs> English language. Do they mean education or applied in here? Upgrading. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Yes. It's not an adjective. <laughs> Maybe these weird translations help with thinking. They probably do. But that's what I'm saying. When you read the Dutch, it's not really... You can't really translate them into English sometimes. Wij hebben de aantekeningen van de lezing. But I don't think that's really the problem. The problem is I'm, I'm even typing Donglas. We have... Biologie gaat vooral over levende dingen. Bio biology... Um, gaat vooral over... Um, Um, isn't for all, no, that's not especially, is it? For all. Mostly, sorry, particularly. Okay, yes, it is especially, because particularly and especially mean the same thing in English. Oh, they took it. Ik ben eindelijk afgestudeerd. I've finally. This is Mike. Mike, this is you in four more years. I finally graduated. It is fine. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> uh, oh no, not this one again. Um, fine. I'll think like they're talking about something on the computer, on the website, on melding. Oh, they wanted zitten, didn't they? In it's de dos, right? De blauwe dos. Melt plurals. Uh, no. Studeer je. Is deze opleiding Engels dan nog? You know the biggest problem is like. With uh, with something like Duolingo, you get used to skills where they just only give you present tense or past tense, and then all of a sudden they start mixing in the present and the past tense, and you're like, wait, uh, <laughs> is this do we want to say education or schooling? Um, okay, do on mel melding kun zitten in deze blauwe dos. Oh, time. <laughs> Schooling and education is pretty much the same in English, though. That's the funny thing. And they were saying on some of the discussions that uplighting is like a little bit more than just schooling and education, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm just gonna do. I think I'm just gonna do some close master. 
I don't want to do general practice. Let's do this. Someone was asking if I started Afrikaans yet. And I'm like, yes, I did, actually. I started... Oh, do you guys want... Did you guys just want to see some Afrikaans then? Because I did start Afrikaans from Dutch. On here. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, where are you? Uh, no. Let's do that. It did start it. It's right there. It is hilarious, isn't it? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> telephone. This is not more like telephone. Taxi. Some descriptions of things are really logical in Afrikaans, but you have to think about it. The descriptions of okay. Ek het a rekenaar nodig. Wait, what did she say? Ek het a rekenaar nodig. <laughs> ek? Yeah, ek. It's ek. Um, and then... Ek het. Okay. Ek het. And they were doing this, right? Ek het a rekenaar nodig. Ek het a rekenaar nodig. Hi, Slowdown. How's it going? Ek het a rekenaar nodig. Okay, I don't know what the last thing she's saying, but it's probably the same. Wow. <laughs> and I can, it's like saying, isn't that like a calculator? Like what's wait, what's the Dutch word for calculator? Rekening Well rekening is a bill, right? Rekening is a bill or an account. Calculation. <laughs> so they're like I need a okay. That's I get a taxi nodig. But see how head turned into heads? That's a, that's a little confusing. Good, how about you? I'm good, thanks, how about you? I am very good. Oh yes, you streamed last night. I'm sorry I missed it. I was playing, I was like, I wasn't on Twitch. Was I on Twitch? Oh, I might have gotten distracted or something. That's weird, because it looked like you streamed, so it looked like you were streaming at a time that I would, would have been on watching Twitch, but. Somehow I didn't see a notification. That was weird. I don't know what happened. I'm good. Um, I was playing Don't Start Together last night with three other people before I went to sleep, but that's all right. It was fun. God. It's alright, I think you were doing your own stream. Ah, uh, was I still doing my own stream? So maybe I, I just missed card you. I, I guess I just missed you. I keep the card nodig. I kept in card nodig. Yeah, it was fun last night. Yes, Rachel. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to play again. I don't know if we're playing again tonight. I think we're... We might be playing again tonight. Nay. Yeah. Are we playing Don't Starve tonight? Um, Together tonight? You told you had you did tell him we were gonna play tonight though. Well, I think that requires everyone else to be willing to play tonight, not just what else he asked. No, I'm asking if you if you and Kenji plan to play tonight. There were no plans. Hotel. I made a suggestion, you never responded. Oh. I get the hotel nodig. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I always die in the winter. Oh, for don't starve together. Oh, you were playing. <laughs> I get the rekenaar nodig. I'm not sure. We. I mean, I guess maybe we're getting close to the winter. I don't. I lost track of how many days it was. Rachel, do you remember how many days it was? Yeah, for don't starve.
I think, yeah, I can't do a lot. Ik heb een kaart nodig. Ik heb een kaart nodig. Ik heb een kaart nodig. Ah. Ik heb een kaart nodig. No. Ik heb een kaart nodig. No, I, I just want to skip. Ik heb een kaart nodig. We got to about day 20. Okay. Ik heb... Mm -hmm. Ik heb een telefoon nodig. She says telephone like telephone. I get the telephone order. Yeah, she says it like telephone and not telephone. It's actually funny. Did we? Oh, wow. Oh, wait, it was big and small maps? <laughs> we didn't mod it. It's just like the normal, normal, it's the normal game. I get the car king order. I think it is a normal default map or whatever. She wants Karti this time. Karti. Wait, what did she say? I get the car king nodig. Oh, jeez. No, it took away my star. Oh, no, we, we were just playing the default, I think. I get a taxi nodig. We always play friends for maps. Yeah, we just kind of like, I think we've been leaving the maps as defaults and just, um, I don't remember Nate. Nate? Last night, were we playing on the default settings? Yes. Yeah, it was just the default settings. So, it wasn't too bad. Ek the kaart nodig. Ek het. I can't believe I, I screwed up that one. I'm going to have to do this again later, some other time. So, it took away my star. <coughs> I get the hotel nodig. So for tal days as in, it's like translate the sentence. Ek het en tal nodig. You hebt het goed. You got it right. Well, you hebt het goed. So it's basically like saying you're correct. I get the telephone nodig. Ek het en telefoon nodig. Next. I get the car king nodig. Uh, I get the car king nodig. I get the car king nodig. Now you can barely tell the difference between et and ek et. I get the car king nodig. Oh, she doesn't say the H. Next. Ek het een taxi nodig. Anyways, this is, um, I'm doing Afrikaans from Dutch right now. Someone was asking, I was like, yeah, I, I did start it. But, um, ek het een hotel nodig. Ek het een hotel nodig. It's very, very close. Ek het een rekenaar nodig. Ek het een how does she say this? I get the rekenaar nodig. I get the rekenaar. I get the rekenaar nodig. Doesn't even sound like the rekenaar. I get the rekenaar nodig. I get the rekenaar nodig. I don't know how she's pronouncing that. I get the car king nodig. Car king nodig. Okay, this is Afrikaans, people. Why am I doing Afrikaans? Am I done yet? I get the telephone order. <laughs> well, monthly language just does a good job of making you at least repeat the sentences more than enough times for you to remember. 
Telefoon Hotel Kaart Taxi Ek het een rekenaar nodig Ek het een taxi nodig Ek het een kaart nodig Ek het een hotel nodig Ek het een telefoon nodig Ek het een kaartkie nodig it's like she says Eckington, but I have no idea how she's saying that. Can I? Thing. Okay, that's done. Yeah, I continue. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna do some close master listening. And for some reason, it's warm in here. Let me go back. some close master and then I'm gonna do a little bit of the the Dutch Anki decks I made and and um, I have some more um, I have some more Dutch verbs to enter into my Anki deck so this will be fun uh, what time is it for you slow it down We zullen het samen doen. We, sh- we will do it together. Oh, okay. We zullen het samen doen. Wait, but uh, <coughs> four forty, nine forty. Hmm. Central time zone. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, I'm losing track. I can't do math right now, apparently. Never mind. <laughs> okay, central time zone. 9 12 40. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So eats have you not seen? Okay. So eats. So eats have you not seen? I've never seen anything like this before. Mm-hmm. Ik heb haar vijf dagen geleden gezien, zei hij. Ik heb haar vijf dagen geleden gezien, zei hij. Yes, I saw her five days ago. Waar zijn de jongens? Waar zijn de jongens? Where are the boys? Waar zijn de jongens? That was actually pretty easy. Als je echt met me spreken wilt, is het nu of nooit? If you really want to talk. To me, it's now or never. Als je echt met me spreken wilt, is het nu of nooit? Ik moest hem laten gaan. I had to let him go. Ik moest hem laten gaan. Getting better. My listening's getting better. I'm trying to parse these sentences faster. Mijn zoon is nu zo groot als ik. Mijn zoon. Mijn zoon is nu zo groot als ik. He's not so cold. Oh, my son isn't as big as me. Oh no, he's now as big as me. Oh, I misheard that. Mijn zoon is nu zo groot als ik. I'm planning on making my own Anki deck tomorrow for Japanese. I've definitely regressed a bit. I'm sorry. It happens a lot. It does happen with languages. You lose a little bit. But it's like... Think of it... I think the thing is with languages, it's like it's you... With vocab, it's always you use it or you lose it. So it's more, it's more about um, what your brain's always gonna remember what you need the most. Zijn jullie voor of tegen zijn idee? 
But I think it's good to learn lang- it's good for the brain to learn languages. Zijn jullie voor of tegen zijn idee? Zijn idee. Are you for or against his idea? Zijn jullie voor of tegen zijn idee? Is je man thuis? Is your is your husband German? Or Taos. Oh, she said Taos. I thought she said doubts. Is your man thuis? Taos. Dat moet je ergens anders doen. Dat moet je echt. Dat moet je ergens anders doen. Anders doen. Ergens. Oh, somewhere else. Dat moet je ergens anders doen. Yeah, it sounds so weird. Dat moet je ergens anders doen. You have to do that somewhere else is what he's saying. Very true. It's definitely something you need consistency with. Yeah. But it's also like, I think, um, in some, I mean, I know this from experience because my Anki deck is ridiculous. My Anki thing is ridiculous. I have a lot of languages in there. But um, that's because um, I was trying to get through Teach Yourself books. And for that, it's really hard to go on to the next lesson with without remembering the vocab. So I was like, it gets ridiculous. Um, so a lot of this is like, okay, well, if I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna be needing this language very much, do I need to be remembering the vocab every day for everything? It's um, and I'm not planning on speaking all the different languages that I was learning. So, um, the only one I really need to practice right now is Dutch, and I like Spanish. Spanish is one of my favorites. Um, and there's also um. Chinese for me, but that must you ergens anders do. But that's a whole other complex issue. <laughs> My mom does not speak Mandarin, so uh, learning Mandarin doesn't learning Mandarin for me doesn't do very much um, in terms of like in ter- like Mandarin. There's no real practical use for me to learn Mandarin to speak Mandarin right now. Except for, well, except for genealogical reasons, but reading Chinese is more important to me. And speaking um, with my mom is a completely different story. Okay, so that was that one. Dutch from English. Let's try some from French. Yeah, this is all just listening practice. So it's easy enough to do listening practice for all the Dutch stuff. Hi, Lala Lobster. How's it going? And <laughs> slow is here. Yes, I'm learning. <laughs> I was learning quite a bit. Yeah. Um, well, I was learning some for particular reasons. Like each one of the languages I start learning. Um, Can I see more than ten years in? Um. There was different reasons for why I was learning each of these languages down here. Um, Spanish because I like Spanish. Uh, Cantonese because my mom speaks Cantonese, Dutch because I was planning to move to the Netherlands and I'm here, so I still have to learn Dutch. I'm not really that fond of teach of German, but I was like learning a little bit of it just because, and um, I like Greek. I like Icelandic actually. Um, improve your French. Teach yourself. Improve your French. Yeah, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I just had to practice a little bit of French. Um, I was interested in Irish for a while, and I did a little bit of Italian. Actually, I'm still doing. Actually, still I'm learning a little bit of Italian, um, but not a lot. And I did a little bit teach yourself Japanese. I so I was doing Korean. I was doing Korean because of Taekwondo, and I thought I might go to South Korea sometime. Sometime. I hate reading pinyin. That's like three persons go. Uh, it's like saying. Is that like saying if three people go, then you have to go or something? That's all I can think of. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, that character in, in Chinese for me means something different. 
Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. It must it's the same then. One must be my teacher. That's a weird expression, actually. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Like I said, my family's not Mandarin. We don't speak Mandarin. Uh, Cantonese. Kan ik je morgen om tien uur zien? Kan ik je morgen om tien uur zien? In actually many ways, Mandarin culture is quite different from Cantonese culture. Leven en laten leven. Leven en laten live and let live. Leven en laten leven. Oh, I'm sorry. I should read the French for you guys. Occupe-toi de ta vie et laisse vivre l'autre. That's actually really awkward in French. It doesn't sound as good. <laughs> you can so long blijven als je wilt. You can stay as long as you want. You can so long blijven als je wilt. You can so long blijven als je wilt. Tu peux rester aussi longtemps que, que tu veux. Que tu veux. Zo de vader, zo de zoon. Like father, like son. Wait, is it like Dutch day for, is it Dutch day? It's Dutch day today for everyone, isn't it? Everyone's doing Dutch for some reason. Zo de vader, zo de zoon. Ah, Guangdong. Yeah. Guangdong. <laughs> zo de vader, zo de zoon. Well, more technically, I'll show you. Um, more technically, my, my family speaks uh, Taishanese. Um, actually, no. I'll show you the... Uh, 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 and I was doing... Um, probably like 10, 15 years ago, I was looking for materials on Taishanese. And... Yeah, it's, and I found this. Uh, I found some people online, some Taishanese speakers online, who are gathering materials. Um, and so I found his. I found his blog. I think it was his blog. I found his blog. And then I found some materials from the US Defense Language Institute to download. So it's on my website here. It's on my website. The originals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's on my website there. But um, but this is actually Taishanese. I just posted the link in there. That's a little bit about Taishanese. I didn't write this article. I I don't really write articles on Wikipedia. Somebody else wrote this article for sure. I'm guessing um, one of these guys wrote it. Like Aaron or or Stephen Lee or even Jean Chen might have wrote the article on Taishanese. Um, But uh, Taishan is a city in uh, Guangdong province, so the, the language is slightly different than Cantonese proper. Het is niet zo ver. It's not so far. Ce n'est pas si loin. Het is niet zo ver. Dit is de vrouw die u wil zien. This is the woman that you want to see. Dit is de vrouw die u wil zien. C'est la dame qui vous voit. Oh, who wants to see? This is the woman who you want to see. Yeah, c'est la dame qui veut vous voir. I'm not sure that French Can is right. Can anyone me help? Yeah, it's a look. Well, yeah. Um, you can call it a dialect. It's very similar to Cantonese, but um, most Cantonese speakers don't really understand it. But a lot of Taishanese speakers will understand Cantonese just because, um, probably just because it was easier going that way. And Cantonese, because Cantonese has like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but whenever I speak to a Cantonese speaker and I accidentally speak in Taishanese, they're like, what? <laughs> 
But I think the difference is, though, is that a lot of Taishanese speakers that are in my mom's generation just learned Cantonese from a young age when they, when they went to Hong Kong, and they, they picked it up. And they learned it, and they don't think of Cantonese as being different than Taishanese. In fact, my mom never, my mom never explained Cantonese as being a different language to me. She just, she was just always, uh, this is how we talk when we're at home, and this is how we talk when we're outside, or when we're at a restaurant, or you know, when we're in Chinatown. She's like, oh, this is what we say, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like that's not really explaining a lot. <laughs> Can niemand me helpen? Um. Kan niemand me helpen? Zij praat alsof ze alles weet. But um, at some point when I was probably about, I think maybe between 10 and 12, my dad told me, like, told me and my brother uh, where we were from in China, where they were from in China, and that's how I was like, oh, then let's just look up. In Cantonese, it's called Toisan. Cantonese is called Toisan Wa. And so, so I was looking up Toy San Wa, or Toy San stuff. I know some random phrases in Sichuan, Shanghainese, Mandarin, Taiwanese, surprisingly not Cantonese. That is, wait, that is not me. What, wait, what's not you, Seraphine? I missed something when you posted that. Oh, this! Zai Prat Asaf Siv Alice Vates. No, you're pretty, you're cool. You're chill, Seraphine. You don't do this at all. No. Zij praat alsof ze alles weet. Een paar kom si el sabe too. No, you're chill, Seraphine. It's nice having you around. Your life would have been easier if only you... No, Mike, actually, most people in China weren't Mandarin speaking until after communism took over. <laughs> Hi Alex, how's it going? Uh, Strava Kako stay. No Mike, you got that wrong. They they literally had a vote between whether or not they wanted to govern China with Mandarin as an official language or with Cantonese as an official language and according to what I read, Mandarin won by like one or two votes only. Um, this was after this was after um, they got rid of the other political party and the other political party ran off to Taiwan to start the Chinese the Chinese uh, government in Taiwan. So um, prior to that, there were there were tons of and there still are tons of different languages in China. So this is all just because of the Chinese government imposing Mandarin. You know, I try not to, I don't have problems with Mandarin speakers. They have to learn it, I understand that. But a lot of people, I, I met a Mandarin speaker in, in Toronto. Her family speaks Shanghainese and Mandarin. So anybody from China is just, is a Mandarin speaker because they were taught Mandarin. Prior to that, people were taught like Cantonese in Southern China. Some people were taught Mandarin in Northern China. Others would have just, you know, for the, I think for the most part, everyone learned to read Chinese. Like the people that actually learned to read Chinese back then, they learned to read it with their own dialect and their own pronunciation, or the or the standard dialect in that province or area. Uh, yeah, yeah, because there there are native. There are there are natives on Taiwan. There there were natives on Taiwan when they moved there. So, um, and there are native Taiwanese. Um, I know some people say Taiwanese and they mean the Mandarin, Mandarin speaking Taiwanese. But I believe there are native Taiwanese people. Mike, no, my life would not have been easier because my whole family, my relatives, everybody in Chinatown was speaking Cantonese. They are slowly, most of the North American Chinatowns are slowly speaking both, they're, like, they're slowly adopting Mandarin, so they're speaking Cantonese and Mandarin. So, going good. Is it kaku, kaku si? Is it kaku stay for a lot of people? Oh, I'm speaking to you formally then too, yes, kaku si. 
in terms of learning Chinese. Yeah, no, that's only in terms of learning to speak Mandarin. I can learn Chi I can learn to read Chinese without learning Mandarin. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Mike. I am good, Alex. Mike is being uh, being a troll about Chinese. Mr. Alex. Lentang then forced Mandarin onto Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was the... That was the party that got kicked out of China, right? That's going to Taiwan. China. Don't even get me started. I'm not even going to talk about Chinese politics here. Don't even get me started. I'm really annoyed with the Chinese government. I don't know if everyone's heard about what happened in Hong Kong recently and about what's going on um, with the UK. The UK has... Um, I I'm really glad the UK is doing this. The UK is going to let in um, because a lot of there are a lot of people in Hong Kong that are British nationals overseas. They have that designation, so they are being they are being allowed to uh, m emigrate immigrate to uh, in to the UK. Yeah, I'm mean, I talking to you formally, I guess, but no one ever talks to me like that. Yeah, I couldn't remember the informal one. Yes, caucusing. Just one Chinese boring. Thank you, Epic. <laughs> I'm biased. I like Cantonese better. In fact, I think I like I like Vietnamese because it's a lot more like Cantonese. No, oh right, that thing. Yeah, great in a time of Corona. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, it's probably it's probably gonna be gradual, Rachel. It'll be fine. Plus, I think Taiwan is gonna help out. I mean, the first port of harbor for people in Hong Kong will probably be Taiwan or Singapore, Rachel, before they even hit the UK. And also some might just actually stop and stay in Europe. I mean, I'm expecting, I mean, if, I think some of them, if they can, some will stop in European countries and stay in the other European countries. I imagine some might just stay in the Netherlands or France or Spain, you know. And then Dutch could eat Afrikaans, Belgians could stop saying Flemish, which isn't even recognized as a language. Oh, that's because, yeah, it's just Belgian Dutch. You shall be motivated. Afrikaans is a separate language. It is still kind of remote from Dutch. You shall be motivated. I mean, there's enough differences between Afrikaans and Dutch that would make it confusing. You shall be motivated. Niemand zag me. Niemand zag. No one saw me. Niemand zag me. Person no me vi. I don't know why. I feel I feel obligated to practice, like to at least keep practicing some French <laughs> in a small way. Don't ask me why. I should. I. I. Well, I shouldn't feel obligated. No. Why am I looking at French? I want Netherlands. 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 No. I think the way things are going, uh, uh, the Dutch is never going to turn into Afrikaans. I think more than likely it's just going to be Dutch and English spoken together side by side in the Netherlands. <laughs> and Afrikaans speakers speak English anyways, so. Die twee hebben elkaar zeker veel te vertellen. Hmm. Um, I just gonna go back here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, with some more listening. Die twee hebben elkaar zeker veel te vertellen. Vertellen, vertellen. I'm a little tired. Die twee hebben elkaar zeker veel te vertellen. And I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. Waar zien we elkaar? Waar zien we? Uh. Where do we see each other? Waar zien we elkaar? Mijn moeder is mooi. My mother is pretty. 
Beautiful. Mijn, mijn meine, moeder is mooi. Mijn moeder is, is schoon. Schoon. Is schoon. How do you say this one in German? Mijn moeder is schoon. Schön. 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 Mijn moeder is schoon. Is, mijn moeder is schoon. Is schoon. See, German doesn't roll off the tongue easily. I'm sorry. I know you, I know some people like German, but it doesn't roll off Ik the tongue easily. Ik heb je nog nooit zo horen praten. Ik heb je nog nooit zo horen praten. I have never heard you talk so before. It does? No. It doesn't. Nope. Ik heb je nog nooit zo horen praten. Weet jij waarom ze niet kon komen? Mike, did you see that video? I think that one Baka shared with us with the like the Russian guy speaking rapping 415 words. Um Oh, it was in Russian though. I can't, I can't see. But it was funny because the guy was in he was rapping in Russian 415 words in like a minute 5 seconds. I don't think a German or French speaker could do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is schon. Schon, schon. Whatever. I'm not trying to be perfect in German anyways. I mean, I only know a German couple. I know, like, one German couple. <laughs> Me and I know one German couple. But they're perfectly happy speaking English. And the guy, the German guy works here, so he, he should learn Dutch. Yeah, Waarom ze niet kon komen? No. Not me. You guys want perfect German, man. You can go watch sick. <laughs> Pressure is on him, not on me, man. Weet u waarom ze niet... Weet jij waarom ze niet kon komen? Weet u waarom ze niet kon... Komen. Weet jij waarom ze niet kon komen? Je mag mijn auto gebruiken als je wil. Je mag mijn auto gebruiken als je wil. Yes, Mike, when do you stream? Je mag mijn auto gebruiken als je wil. Je mag mijn auto gebruiken als je wil. Je mag mijn auto gebruiken als je wil. Kop op. Het is niet zo erg als je denkt. What? I don't have a driver's license, so I don't think that is smart. What? Oh, the last sentence? Wait, what? Wait, what, Seraphine? German would have to be either stories or just practice. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much, much what my Dutch is on Duolingo. It's just practice stuff. They don't have Dutch stories, though. Kop op. Het is niet zo erg als je denkt. Kop. Kop op. Kop op. Uh, it's not as serious as you think, but kop op is, is, is that like hold up? Hold on? Oh, I missed the last sentence. I don't remember it. <laughs> is this like, okay, hold on there. Come on. Kop. Kop op. Up. These little these little interjection phrases are funny. Surfing, I like them. Kop op. Het is niet zo erg als je denkt. But they're also kind of like sometimes you kind of have to like. You really have Ze to. hadden gelijk. You really have to pay attention to the context for those. Ze hadden gelijk. Ze hadden gelijk. Zij werkt op school. She works at. She works at school. Zij werkt op school. Ze arbeidt in de school. School. Heads up, cheer up. Hmm. Yeah, it's literally head up. Ik heb het met eigen ogen gezien. Ik heb het met mijn eigen. I have seen it with my own eyes. Ik heb het met eigen ogen gezien. Okay, a couple more, and I'm gonna do some some Anki. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my Dutch Anki. So I have my Dutch Anki here. 
this. F3. And th wait, should I sync that? 3 and 30. It looks like I have like 33 new to review or something. Alright. Uh, more listening, more listening, just listening. Kopf, Kopf, When would you use that in German, Mike? Like, when do you use that? Curious. Ze wil daar niet over praten. She doesn't want to talk about it. That. Ze wil daar niet over praten. She doesn't want to talk about that. Daar would be that. It should, this is that, though. Hoe wil je te praten om dat? Ik heb alleen maar bananen gegeten. Yeah, they use it more as cheer up or something. Yes, that is correct. I learned that. I learned that. Yes, that sometimes daar does not mean there. It means that. <laughs> I don't know how common it is to say, though. Cop. Yeah. It... Hmm. Ik heb alleen maar bananen gegeten. Banana. Ik heb alleen maar bananen gegeten. So, Seraphine, the thing that the, uh, um, something's throwing me off. This thing. Uh, sometimes mar is used in certain expressions that are just kind of like. Is, is it supposed to like. Like when you say. Uh, when you say kijk mar, right? Is like watch or look. And then you say kijk eens. Uh, like, what is the real difference between Kaik Mar and Kaik Ains? Like, Nate's, Nate tells me that from what he's seen at his office, Kaik Mar is more soft. Like, it's still a command, but it's soft. Like, not being super demanding, but just saying, oh, come, come just take a look or something. And Kaik Ains is, I guess, more neutral? I don't know. Ik heb alleen maar bananen gegeten. This I think is just like I I have just but a banana. No. I ate I ate only a banana. I ate only a banana. Swedish. I ate only bananas. See if you like kakmars. So Okay. So Nate is right. Oh yeah, yeah. So the mod is used more soft, softer command. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Hi Tony, how's it going? Rookt u? I think I'm actually still sleepy. Rookt u? <laughs> or actually no. Have you guys ever heard of the term um, sleep drunk? Where like you just you just slept and you woke up, but you still feel like your brain is foggy. I think that's what's going on today. I think I'm just like sleep drunk still. Weet ik niet. Weet ik niet. Weet ik niet. I don't know. Slap drunk. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a thing in Dutch? Weet ik niet. Yes, sleep drunk. And sometimes that extra word is just a bit weird. I kept alleen maar banana gegeten. There's an emphasis on alleen. Okay. Yeah. And you have that sometimes, Tony? Yeah. It is a thing in Dutch. Slap drunken? Really? Oh, I love it. Yes, sleep drunk. Nay. Slap drunken is a thing in Dutch. What? Slap drunken. Okay. Is actually a thing in Dutch. You know how we always talked about sleep drunk? Okay. Just letting you know. You working? Okay. You working? Okay, yeah. 
Nate's, 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 uh, in his own world. <laughs> ik heb rugpijn. Uh, did she say? Ik heb rugpijn. Ik heb rugpijn. I have back pain. Okay, okay, okay. I have no... I... What? Are you listening to music or something? Yes. Yeah, he's just listening to music. He's ignoring me. And trying to do... He's trying to work. And what gaan we doen? You know, when he's working, like, sometimes when he's working, he just has to wait for somebody to get back to him, and then he'll just, like, start talking to me anyways. <laughs> But then when he's actually, but then when he's actually got lots to do at work, he just ignores me. <laughs> it goes from me getting flooded with like oh, blah, blah, a bunch of like random stuff, random comments that he he says to me like, and the, to to be complete to me being completely ignored. <laughs> and what gaan we doen? I'm used to it. Ze kuste hem op het voorhoofd. Ze kuste hem op het voorhoofd. She kissed him on the forehead. On the forehead. <laughs> wat ontbreekt er? Ont. Oh, I forget what ontbreekt means. Wat ontbreekt er? That is one of the Dutch verbs I need to learn. Missing? What's missing? You know, this verb reminds me of a verb in French. Uh, uh, there's a verb in French that means like to be lacking. Trying to remember it. Um, ik versta geen Duits. Yes, yes, Seraphine, this is our sentence, or this is my sentence. I don't know if you like German. Ik versta geen Duits. Ik versta geen Duits. I don't understand German. I don't understand any German. <laughs> Okay, I have to. I have a little mini project that I'm gonna work on. That I have to work on. Um, do I want to do? I don't understand any German, or I don't speak any German. No, you gotta understand, Mike. I don't want to understand <laughs> some German. I do understand some German. It's it's kind of sad. Uh, I do, I, and I think I understand a little bit more German after studying all the Dutch, <laughs> like more than I used to when I only knew English. So it's kind of funny. Hmm. I gotta make a mental note. I gotta make a note. Hold on. I make a note for myself. Uh, make this note. No, actually, yeah, I'll do it as a I don't speak. Ich spreche kein Deutsch. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more. Uh, no hablo español. Uh, non parlo li italiano. I'm making some notes here. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh yeah, in the French. Je ne, je ne, je ne parle pas le français. 
I'm making a little note here. Um, add a label. Add a label. My images. I'm going to pin this. Okay. I'm going to save that. I gotta work on something as a little mini, mini project. Okay, my my scene should be back. Yeah, I do understand some German as well, but I know that some German people want me to speak slowly in Dutch, and they understand it. Yeah, they should understand it. So the German guy at Nate's office figured out that he he learned about the diminutives about how you just take a noun and at the the ya or or tia after a noun, so he went around the office and started calling the the Dutch people something like Pascaltia. <laughs> I was like, well, Janis Janitia, <laughs> Pascaltia. I don't know how you would do that for something like Marco, Marcotia. Yeah, so this is what happened. The German guy learned how to make uh, diminutives. It's even funnier because he says, Hetz Pascaltia. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't think he liked that word, Marcotia. Hetz Marcotia. <laughs> I, I mean, do kids, do kids ever do that here? Actually, just thinking about that, do kids ever do that to each other here? Iedereen wachten. <laughs> Iedereen wachten. Huh? Everyone waited. Iedereen wachten. <laughs> oh, that's the German equivalent. <laughs> I don't think so. It is more adults towards children. Yeah, but I can imagine. I, I, I think if there was something like that, if there was an equivalent like that in English, I can imagine. Some kids in English would just do it to other kids because they want to pretend that they're the adult with the other kids. I could just totally see that with English kids if there was something similar. <laughs> Sorry, English speaking kids. <laughs> but it was cute. It's Pascaltia. <laughs> What do Thai? What do Thai? What is he doing? Here is alles in order. Everything is in order here. This is so funny. Here is alles in order. Here is alles in order. Everything is in order here. Waar is mijn vader? Where is my father? Waar is mijn vader? Stop. Dat doet pijn. Stop. That hurts. Stop. Dat doet pijn. Ow, 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 dat doet pijn. Jij bent mooi. You are pretty. You are beautiful. Jij bent mooi. Sorry, you are pretty. No, pretty is something else. You are beautiful. Next one. Norwegian doesn't have an actual active diminutive either. Yeah. Ik weet zijn naam niet. I mean, English has a few. Like we say kitty, kitty and puppy. Right? But, but, um, like sheep, there's a, the baby sheep is a lamb, but we don't say, we just say little lamb. But it's funny because the diminutives in Dutch are also used for other things like a cupboard, you could say a kostia, in kostia, or, I don't know, I guess you could, I guess you could say lepeltia. And you can say, <laughs> I checked out that Norwegian Wikipedia. I checked out the Norwegian Wikipedia page for it. They have some examples in different languages. Yeah, Scarlet booklet. Yeah, some. Yeah, that's true. This, the the let one is also there too. Okay. Uh. Ik weet zijn naam niet. I don't know his name. Ik weet zijn naam niet. Afrikaans. It's the same between Afrikaans and Dutch, yes. Hij had een dochter. Appeltje eitje. Hij had een dochter. I like this one. I learned this one. Appeltje eitje. 
I learned that one, Seraphine, from watching Pusias. <laughs> yes, that's true. Everything that is small. I mean, if we're talking about mice or Namitsia, it's more done towards children. <laughs> I have to rewatch those because they speak really fast. It mentions that almost all Dutch words can have diminutives. Yes, it's true. Ik heb nog steeds niets gevonden. Ik heb nog steeds niets gevonden. Well, nouns, Dutch nouns, right? Or do you think? Dat doet de deur dicht. Anything that can become a noun in Dutch, that can be a noun in Dutch, can have a diminutive. I think yes. In Dutch, yeah. That doet de deur, but. Dat doet de deur dicht. Dat doet de deur dicht. That closes the door. Is is even uh, yeah, yeah. Because you can turn an adverb and adjective into a noun, or do you mean it still has an adjective and adverb meaning? Wat is ze aan het drinken? But I think some things would sound weird. Wat is ze aan het drinken? What is she drinking? Wat is ze aan het drinken? Spanish, for example, is des yes, despacito. My God, that's the only domain that people know now in Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, is that the only demand that people know now in Spanish? Catito. <laughs> okay, I did my. Oh, see, I did the Dutch. I did the Dutch today. It's been good. Mike, you should do, you know, after you're done the Duolingo, you should do the Spanish on here. There's a ton of courses to Spanish. You can get a lot of listening practice. What was not using now? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. Ugh, oh, dashboard. Okay, Anki. Let's do some Anki. I do some Anki and then, a, then I think we should just go raid somebody because I am tired and I think I'm a little hungry and I, I think I have leftover food. I don't know what I want for dinner. I don't know what I want for dinner. Maybe, um, maybe I'll just switch. Um, we'll go, we can go raid somebody and then maybe if people want, we can try and do language guesser. Uh, Oh, you're working on the 500 most common now? Okay, that's cool. From English? Wait, do they have one for Norwegian? Wait, Mike, they have one from Swedish and Danish. Spanish and Russian. Spanish and Russian. Yeah, they do have Spanish from Dutch. That was fun. That one's fun. And Spanish from French. But Mike, they have, like, from Danish. You can do Spanish from Danish. He's like, Danish? What Danish? <laughs> Here, I'll just put this back on the Duolingo thing. Oh, I closed up by accident. All right. Okay, Dutch. I need to listen to the audio for Teach Yourself Dutch. Uh, Dutch verbs. Yeah, it's 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 a shame because I do have a lot of um, other resources for language learning, and I prefer listening to like stuff that has audio. But I obviously can't play Teach Yourself audio Teach Yourself audio on here because it's copyright material. <clears throat> Okay, 
Okay, let's learn some new Dutch verbs. <coughs> Imperative. Ram up. Ramped up. Ram, ram up. Ramped up. I just put this this um, imperative form in anyways, even though it's not really used. Uh, yeah, that's separable. Hasten. Hasten. So this would be. Oh, what did I put it as? Um, so if it was ik, ik it would be hast. Hast ma, and then hast. Hast. Oh, jeez, hast ya, and hast zich. <coughs> and then it would be hasten. Ons, Austin, <coughs> excuse me. Austin, Ons, Austin, <coughs> Yuli, Austin, Zich. Yeah, Ons, no, Ons, you and Zich. <coughs> something on this hmm. yes you could do German to Spanish if you oh yeah you could Mike you practice your German and Spanish together so you don't have to like so you don't go from like Spanish to English or German to English I want to look up something Oh, and actually, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, since I'm just doing Anki, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna play some music for myself, just for myself. Uh, so, uh, mute the desktop audio. <laughs> I can listen to music for me. <coughs> Wait, play? That rope is playing for me. Okay, I think that's working. Okay. I'm good. I've got music for me. Yes, you should. Uh, there might be, there might be Spanish for German too, actually, Mike. I wouldn't, I, I kind of feel like there's a Spanish to German. <laughs> but I don't think I have that. This thing up because uh, somebody's bugging me about this. Zich Hasten. <laughs> I guess because that's the only reflexive, right? And this book is just giving me my zich, ons zich. So my brain is broken. I want to look up something. I'm going to 
a second. Uh, what's wrong with my brain today? That's grammar. Um, <coughs> grammar. Pronouns. Thank you. I need to review these. Oh, okay, it is those. Okay. It is just these. And these are more... reading these articles. Hey. Thank you. You found the German from Spanish one. Yeah, I thought so. They have it. Can I turn this music down just slightly? Sie ist nicht mehr, was sie mal war. Ja, no, es como, what? <coughs> the German? You mean the German? The Spanish is perfectly fine, I think. Ja, no, es como antes. <coughs> but what the hell does that one mean? Is that, like, she's n not like before? Yeah, no longer what she was. Yeah. I'm gonna turn my music down a bit. Op, ram, ram, op. And the Spanish one is obviously she's no longer like before. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the German. Because. Yeah, that, that, those German constructions are weird to me. <clears throat> I, I I think even in Dutch, in Dutch would be more simple than that. Like, <coughs> I don't know. Subjunctive. Oh, the subjunctive. I added the subjunctive to my Dutch verb deck here, even though we don't really. They don't really use the subjunctive form anymore, but I figured it was good practice anyways in case you you read old older Dutch stuff that uses it. Rama Rama op Ramen op Ramda and Ramda op <coughs> It would be fun. Moi, so it's moi, moi de vey, moi de vey, hoi de, sorry, hoi de, hoi de vey, hoi de, what am I saying? Zich haste, haste, oh, past has haste, and then it would be haste, but that's not too hard, and zich, 
it'd be Maya and Zek, and then Ons, Ya and Zek. <coughs> Hasta. Ma so notice the double T there. Mike, you're gonna get crazy on Clothes Master. I mean, you see mine. Mine is ridiculous. I don't have time to do all of them, but I just. I went and did probably every course on Clothes Master for English. Is from English. Because <clears throat> they also have. Let's see if I can find it on here. They also have Basque. Oh, Uscara. They also have Basque. And they also had um, Piedmontes, and uh, what's that other language? Galician, Galigo, that's it. They also have Galician. I can't deal with this right now. I'm sorry, Mike. Uh... Clade, <coughs> clade, on ma, clade, no, clade ma, on, on, isn't it? Clade ma, clade, yes, on, clade zehan, clade and ons, ye zehan. Okay. <coughs> Oh no, it's her again. Are you sure it's not supposed to be? Oh no, it's him again. <laughs> but it's a funny sentence. Hast. Hast me, hast ya, hast ze. Hasten. Hasten ons. Hasten ya, hasten ze. <laughs> And this is just, this is how it's like they're they're putting this in my 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 verb book. Zich verhissen, verhiss ma verhist ya verhist zich verhissen, verhissen ons verhissen ya verhissen zich. Maybe I should have did this as a typing one, but I, I get lazy because I like to use the flashcards on my, um, on my app. I think I'm tired. <clears throat> I'm in a good mood, people, but I think I'm tired. <laughs> Should we go raid somebody? And I'll just... I don't know if I want to add in, like, the text box for this. <clears throat> Maybe I will add the text box to all of them. Let's see. How did I do that again? Uh, there's cards. <coughs> I think I didn't want to type the English though. I wanted to, you get the Dutch, just say the English, but I wanted to type the Dutch. <coughs> Why is there no... Well, that was weird.
You are the one. <coughs> That's not a matrix, though. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is going to... Oh, this is going to be complicated. Um, hold on. This, this is going to be complicated. <clears throat> this is going to be complicated because I think I have to put it in the actual field, right? <clears throat> um, I think I have to put present. Let's see. And then this one should be passed. <laughs> This one is past participle. <clears throat> so this might be painful to add because I have to type everything exact. I don't know. We'll see if I like doing it this way. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I added input boxes to all of those, Mike. Everyone, I added input boxes. So I'm going to type in the answers instead of just trying to say them out loud because I'm too tired to talk right now. <clears throat> so let's try this again. Yay! <coughs> Past tense. <laughs> cool to done. Well done. Yeah, well, now I have the code already in the system. I can just copy and paste. I mean, isn't that what good programmers do? Just copy and paste the code? Yay! <clears throat> But I'm glad this isn't on Memrise because that would I would not do this the same way in Memrise. I'm gonna do it. I probably would do it s differently, <clears throat> where you'd only have to put in one of the answers. <coughs> Actually, no, for memorize, these would have to be separate, like one, two, three, four. Oh, hast du mal ja sich hast du uns ja 
<clears throat> oh, whatever. Uh, on clayed. Present tense. Clayed. M. Un. Uh, oh, actually, clayed. M. No. Clayed. M. Un. Clayed. N. Uh, I'm missing something. <clears throat> Hold on a second. No, 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 because So I think I'm going to end up making three other decks with the information in this because there's also like um <clears throat> I'm going to make another deck too with separable verbs. And then, <clears throat> and then later I'll make a deck of just vocabulary, um, just just the Dutch verbs going into English. So there's a list of all. I think this is a list of all the Dutch verbs that you can find in this book, and I can put that in and just do a vocabulary deck, just verbs. And then the other one <clears throat> is. <clears throat> is expressions so like at the bottom here there's some ex I don't know if everyone can see that there's expressions in Dutch uh, there's Dutch sorry there's ex Dutch expressions um, that are associated with the verb and obviously expressions need to be remembered so I think there's a couple more decks I can make using the information in here which will be good for me. Still a lot to work on. But now I'm looking for something and I can't find it. Yeah, yeah, it is plate to I thought so, it's clay to on the plate. Um, zich on. Kleden ons je zich on. See, I took, I totally wrote that wrong then. Actually, what I wrote was right, because I just checked it. Um, It is clate. <coughs> I typed it in wrong because I was thinking of it like a question, but it's not right. So it should be a T there, actually. Oh, they want me to do it again. Yeah, it should be that one. Uh, for his, for his, no, yeah, and zeh, and oh, what am I doing? For his, yeah, for his, zeh, for. Kissen uns je zich. I think that's right. Next. Um, present participle op ruimend. <clears throat> yeah, because each card is just gonna be like, is for each of the different like tenses and stuff. So, like, for this one in particular, because it's just learning all the conjugations. I just have the present tense. I have one field for the present tense, but I'm not gonna do that with like the memorized course. The memorized course is gonna have them separated. <clears throat> B 
because if I'm not typing it, I'm just gonna, I, I just kind of like prattle off conjugations. That's how I learn my conjugations. So this is like, I'm just like, yo, like for Spanish, I'm just like, como, comes, come, comen, comemos, comes, comen. I just prattle them off. That's how I learned French conjugations when I was in school. <coughs> Except with French, you were like, you were like, je suis to a. Wow, Spanish is overriding it. <laughs> je suis tu es. Yeah, je suis tu es. Il, elle, est. Nous sommes, vous êtes. And il, elle, sont. Sont, S O N T. Ils sont. <clears throat> I mean, if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to be fluent in French, I would probably go back and do all this stuff too, because I do have a French, I have French vocab, um, sorry, verb. I have a French verb table. I actually posted that in the Discord. <clears throat> um, and if people are learning French and they want to create their own on verb onky decks, they can take that verb table and use it if they want. Um, But, <clears throat> with those conjugation tables that I created, you do have to already know how to conjugate the verbs. The automation, autom, autom, automation, Mike, what did you just type? It really helps considering every single card has its own combo of a tense and a pronoun. Yeah. Yeah. I pretty much, for Spanish though, I just left off, and then even here, I'm leaving off the pronoun. <laughs> it's alright, I can't seem to type anything right today, my, and I can't seem to speak right today, so you are t here, I don't have anything to worry about, Mike, I can't speak today at all, so. Present tense. Played m on right clade clate clate you on clate zich on and clayden ons you zich on yeah hey maybe in a few more minutes let's just go raid somebody <laughs> i am tired and it's almost six so I guess, yeah, I guess at six o'clock, we'll go raid somebody, and I think I'm, I think I will switch over. We can go do some language guests in the Discord if everyone wants to stick around for like, the Discord. Come join the Discord. <clears throat> Discord. <clears throat> Past participle. Uh, <clears throat> no, 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 but Oh, it is supposed. To oh my goodness! Why did I do that? <clears throat> Past participle again. Um, past. Yes. Uh, past tense. For oh, I don't remember the past tense. For hissen? For has? 
No. From Haas? I think it's for Haas, but I don't know. For his... I'm stupid. It's a regular verb. Echo. Imperative. Something. Yeah. Okay. I did. Quite fair. Quite fair. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I was watching a stream last night and it did that to the other the other streamer too and a couple two nights ago it was doing the same thing to every stream that I was watching it would just like they would all randomly like freeze up <laughs> I looked like a zombie Brains. Brains. I want brains. <laughs> Everyone's gonna run away. Dancing. He's a dancing lamb. Nate thinks I need a channel reward for the dancing lamb. Do you guys want to see a dancing lamb? I don't know if you can really see him. Let me see if you can see him. He's like, he's like, It is six o'clock. Okay, you know what? Uh, oops. Uh, let's go raid somebody. I don't want my stream to crash. <laughs> um, a dancing Nate reward? No. No, 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 no. When we get Nate to affiliate, there will be a science dancing reward on Nate's stream, I think. But it's going to cost quite a bit. How much is it going to be? <coughs> yes. So, so yes, everyone, yes. If you want a dancing Nate, if you want a dancing Nate, <laughs> everyone, watch Nate. Watch Nate. Go follow and watch Nate Kicks. Get him to affiliate and we'll put a science dance reward on his thing. <clears throat> the science dance is pretty awesome. <laughs> but alright, let's figure out who I'm gonna raid. Because it's been two and a half hours. And I've got a lot more Dutch to study. I could be her all day. I could be her all day. But um, in an hour, um, in an hour, let's. Uh, I'm gonna be in the Discord in an hour. Let's do some language guesser. We'll do some more language guesser. 
Who's on? Who's on? There is somebody doing Dutch right now. I don't know this person. Um, a lady of chaos is doing Dutch. We should pop in on her stream actually too. Oh, you know what? I I'm going to do a couple of shout outs for people here because they are streaming right now. And it's, it's not fair because I can't rate all of them, right? So um, I'm going to do a shout out for, um, uh, oh, lady. I don't even know if I can grab her lady. Her, her name is long. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a shout for Lady of Chaos Guni because she is also learning Dutch right now. Um, and, and, but also if you are interested in German, uh, Laura, Laura, wait, Laura K483, Laura K is also learning German, um, because her, is she's a, She's a uh, Canadian, but her her grandparents, I believe, were German. So she said her grandparents spoke German. So she's doing Duolingo right now, and she also plays games. Um, but she's been trying to learn languages more often. So if you go check out her stream, give her some encouragement for learning, uh, some motivation to keep learning German and other maybe other languages on a regular basis. And there's also Percy Master is currently learning Japanese. Um, you guys can also check him out too. So, because I like to rate new people, well, generally. So, anyways, this, uh, we are gonna raid somebody who is learning Dutch right now. I think it's three O's at the end. So I'm gonna say bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> There are, there are. So you guys have your choice, but we are going to rate somebody else, somebody I haven't dropped in on before, and who is also learning Dutch. So we say Ninja Butt Raid. Yeah. I'll be in the Discord in an hour. We're going to do Language Guesser. If you guys want to play the Language Guesser game with us, please drop in on the Discord. Um, if you go to my, pro if, if, you, uh, if you go to my profile, you can get the Discord invite. Um, so everyone please please join the raid everyone and say ninja bot raid with ninja bots ninja bots if you have them or hearts if you don't have them okay see you all later Oh no! Last chance if you want to know this is all. I, I, uh huh. I, I, no, I don't.